My name is Kirk LaPlace. I am the power line instructor for the Yavapai College Line School. I have been in the trade for 35 years. My job is to train you to enter the workforce and teach you how to become a power lineman or a cable TV uh, installer or work in the substations, power substations, or even work with the Department of Energy and the jobs they have that are open to our certificate. When you're here, you're going to learn how to climb power poles, how electricity works, how to ground correctly on the board right here, and how to basically survive in the highly dangerous job of building power lines. The course is 16 weeks long. My, your training you're going to receive is how to climb power poles, how to run a hand line, how to operate bucket trucks, line trucks, backhoes, other equipment that's needed in the, in the field, what most of the material is, a lot of what the equipment is, the name for it and the slings for it, there's multiple names for everything. You will learn how to basically be able to cope with the first weeks coming into the job as a trainee, how to get through your interviews, understand what is needed in the physical part of the interviews. We will prepare you for that so that you can be physically strong and make it through the extraneous orientations these uh, schools have. And since we're at 5,000 feet up here at Chino Valley, you get the altitude training too, which is very good for you. There's a 9,000 uh, person shortage of linemen, power linemen across the United States. That's everything from substation technicians to high voltage transmission power linemen. And we're trying to get those positions filled with qualified people. A qualified electrical worker is somebody that can work on anything across the United States. I am a qualified electrical worker. When you leave here, you will not be a qualified electrical worker, but you will understand what is expected of you to be a qualified worker, and then the path that you need to take to get to that position. If you're thinking of becoming a power lineman, I want you to consider that you will get woken up in the middle of the night with a phone call to go to work. It will be bad weather. You will be away from home. And those are the, the bad things. Let me talk about the good things. There's nothing in the world like turning people's power on Christmas morning who didn't have power for one. There's, when you hit a switch and your entire city lights back up again, you, there's, there's nothing like it in the world. It is a dangerous job, but it is very, very rewarding. It is not an easy job. I think that watch, that is what makes it so good. I have been on a power pole, looking over the Pacific Ocean, waiting for the helicopter to come back. And I looked at my pole partner at the same time, both of us said, and they're paying us for this. <laughs> so there's a job for you if you like it.